actually didn't know about the book before seeing the play, and I was, I was really taken by the fact that people were bringing their families to the play, and it seemed to be affecting people of all ages. So that's, that's primarily what I was attracted to. Stephen himself has gone on record saying the reason he thought he could make a film about it was because the story was rock solid, mm -hmm. and that, that, it, that it's something that the story and the, and the themes embedded within it can fly in any medium. The thing about it is, the thing that really holds you is the fact that it turns something which is so complex and so epically nightmarish in the, in the guise of the First World War into something that's universally understandable because it's through the eyes of a horse. And mm -hmm. that translates through the book, through the film, and, and through the stage play. Let every man make himself, his king, his country, and his fallen comrades proud. Be brave. Fear God, honor the king. When you get the call, it is unlike any other experience. Often actors joke about, well, yeah, I'll do that unless I get a call from Spielberg. And I was literally saying that a week before about needing a holiday. Of course, I'll have a break after this unless I get a call from Spielberg. And then it happened. What's amazing about him is, is turning up you know, with all the expectations of his greatness and his mastery, and then seeing how quite phenomenal he is at his job. On the back of his director's chair, it doesn't say Stephen, it doesn't say um, the governor, it doesn't say the boss or the director, it just says dad. And that really is his, mm. sort of sums up his behavior to, to the whole cast and the whole crew. And then there's the whole thing of working with horses. The power of cinema is to be able to take real horses and, and bring them onto the screen. So I think that that's what was an exciting challenge was the realization that we could actually use real horses. I love to go to movies that completely sweep you away and take you into an experience that you wouldn't necessarily have in, in life. Or in this case, you get a chance to visit a time in history that I think, um, I think people enjoy in movies. It's about courage, it's about hope and how the love between Albert and Joey, the, ho the horse and his boy, is emblematic of, of um, our best capabilities. You know, it, it, uh, Joey has so much to teach us about, about um, our capacity for good and hope and courage and perseverance, um, set against the backdrop of this terrible loss of life. It's a, a kind of epic form of storytelling that hasn't been done in a long time.